Hope everybody's doing good today. Today what we're doing is uh, redoing our window screens. Everybody knows that, well, here's the new window screens. Everybody knows in one of our previous videos how I made window screens for the bus using a adhesive Velcro and Gorilla Tape and they worked out pretty well. But uh, in the heat of the Florida summer, after two years, last summer and this summer, uh, some of that tape starting to not be quite so adhesive. So I found these screens at Walmart. They're six dollars a piece. They're ten inches high and they are adjustable from 21 to 37. They just open and shut. So what I'm doing is marking each one the width of the window and then the way I'm putting it on is these small cable clamps and they just act as a spin switch. So I just turn those and I can take the screen in and out just like this. And that's what holds it in place. And what I've done is take a piece of two inch Gorilla Tape and made my own weather stripping flap on the bottom as you can see. And uh, that covers all the gaps from the top and the bottom. And uh, which really you only need it on the bottom because the top fits really tight into the aluminum frame of the bus window. But you can see how nice that looks and it fits perfect. And just to slide it back in, try and do this one handed. And boom, it's in. And the way I'm making a shelf is I'm putting small self tapping screws right into the side frame and that keeps it from sliding down and then the small clamps keep it from pushing in and that's it. But what you'll need are these self tapping screws, 3 8 inch cable clamps, a roll of 2 inch wide Gorilla Tape and these expandable window screens and like I say they're only six bucks a piece so it makes it real economical and a whole lot cheaper than trying to build screens by going out and buying all the aluminum framing and the screening and all that junk in the corners to do it yourself. You'll probably wind up saving about a dollar to two dollars per window if you do it like this and they're already pre-made. And sure does look a whole lot nicer and stays in place a whole lot better. But anyway, just want to give you all a little tip on how to screen your bus windows. This is the second go round, but this way is working out really well. And uh, if you got any questions, just hit that comments button. Please hit like, and don't forget to subscribe to Simple Life. Always trying to keep simple ideas out there. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.